This is part 11. Right now I'm working on cleaning the lower intake manifold. And what I did was I took this old paintbrush and brushed off the dirt. And then I took my can with soapy water and sprayed it down. And now that I've let it sit for a few minutes, I'm gonna start scrubbing it away with this copper brush. I kind of got rained out yesterday, but I was able to clean up the lower intake manifold. And I know it's not like perfectly clean, but what I care about is the gasket mating surfaces. I want all those to be clean so that when I refit the new gasket, it'll have a good seal. Next thing I'm working on is this harmonic damper pulley or crankshaft pulley. And I gave it a coat of WD-40 just to break up the rust. And now I'm just kind of cleaning out this surface where it mounts to the crankshaft with an emery cloth just to smooth it out. It's actually kind of rusty back there. So I'm just gonna clean off that rust So now I'm going to degrease this mating surface with the crankshaft because the crankshaft will actually be pressed up against here and it's going to use friction to turn this whole pulley so you don't want any grease or any lubricants on this face. What I'm going to do is squirt in some soapy water. Now I'm just going to kind of Rub all the grease out. Now what I'm going to do is clean the grooves of the pulley with this copper brush. I'm just going to take my clean towel and wipe the groove. Next thing I'm going to work on cleaning is the fuel rail. And I'm basically just getting some of the gunk off of these injectors here. It's not too dirty, but I just want to make sure the where the injector spray the fuel is clean. Next thing I'm going to clean is the plenum. And I'm going to start by using my old paintbrush to 
to brush off all the dust. Next I'm going to go through with this copper brush and scrub every area that I can. Now I'm going to clean the gasket mating surface. I'm basically just going to take, take my damp copper brush and scrub off all the stuff and then I'll wipe it down with a cloth. I'm also going to do the EGR pipe mating surface. Next thing I'm going to try to install is the uh, harmonic balancer or the crankshaft pulley. For the bolt, you want to cover the coat the threads and the washer surfaces with oil. I have a thin coat of oil on there now. And I want to line up the hole on the balancer. So I've got my crankshaft holding tool in there. I'm going to try and get my socket on there with my torque wrench. I'm going to try and tighten this beast down. Next I'm going to install this little bracket right here. So this M10 bolt that goes to the head, this one gets torqued to 49 newton meters. This M8 bolt on the front it goes to the accessory bracket, it gets torqued to 24 newton meters.
Next I'm going to move to install the uh, lower intake manifold. But first I'm going to clean up this gasket surface. Now I'm going to put the new gasket on. And I believe the tabs come in front. Just gonna place my washers. Now to tighten these nuts onto this lower intake manifold, there's a sequence. I have to do all the nuts on this right side of the engine to about five to eight newton meters and then I go to the full torque on this one and then full torque on this one and then I confirm. So I just go from right to left, right to left, increasing my torque gradually. I'm going to start with the middle bolts. Just kind of tighten them all gradually so I'm not warping my intake manifold. Now I'm going to torque this left side and I've got my torque wrench set to about 22 and a half newton meters. Now I do the left side, or the right side of me. Now I just want to go back through and give everybody a double check. So 
also two hoses that I need to refit on the lower intake manifold. And this one just plugs in right here. And there's another one on this side. Next thing I'm going to put in is the fuel rail and I've loosened up this little vacuum pump thing here so I need to try and get it back The trick was getting all the injectors lined up in their holes and then lining up the mounting points. On this little pressure regulator on the uh, fuel rail, I had to undo the bolts to rotate it to get it under this pipe right here. So now I'm going to reinstall those bolts. These ones get nine Newton meters. Now I'm going to torque down these uh, fuel rail bolts. So 12 Newton meters. That concludes this part of the series. Don't forget to check the description for more information, and I'll see you in the next part.